Hey everybody, Jeremy here bringing you another Open Media Vault video. In this video, we're going to take a look at getting your RAID volume set up. So in this case, we're going to go to storage and let's take a look at our disks first. So as you can see, I've got five total disks. I've got one 32 gig virtual disk and I've got four 40 gig disks. So if we move to RAID management, we can add and we're going to add all of our disks here. And you can look at other options here uh, for your RAID levels. We're going to leave it at RAID 5 and I'm going to say save. And it should prompt us here to confirm it and apply. And it will take a few minutes for this process to complete depending on the size of your disks and the number of disks you're using. This is currently saying it's going to complete in 56.8 minutes. And obviously that was incorrect. <laughs> uh, it is resyncing 1.1%. Okay, so we've got everything completed here now. And we can actually go ahead and add file systems to this. So we're going to create, select our device, which is going to be our RAID device. We can select which file system we want. I'm going to choose ButterFS. I'm going to save that. That went much quicker. So we can do shared folders now. Add shared folder, test one, select file system. And it's not letting us select that. Let's come back here. No data to display for file systems. Okay. Come back to file systems and we want to mount the file system. And there's our ButterFS drive. Save. Yes. I'm sure we'll have to confirm and apply. Okay, and now the status is online. It is not currently referenced. Shared folders. Create one shared folder. We'll just call it test at the moment. On the ButterFS volume. We'll say save. Apply, confirm. And yes. Okay. So now we've got our shared folder and come down to services. We're going to start with SMB SIFs. Go to shares. We're going to add a share. We're going to put it on the test shared folder. It's going to be browsable. Everything else there looks good. Save that. Confirm. Yes. So now is the test here. 
This is 74.139. And we've got an error. So let's take a look here one more time. We didn't enable this. So once that is saved, not sure I like the extra dialog box that they added with the check mark. I think the check mark is overkill, but uh, it's all right. Okay, so connect to server. And it's still claiming there's a problem. Okay, so let's jump back here to storage. Let's look at file systems. It's mounted and referenced, which is good. Look at shared folders one more time. We'll edit that. That's fine. Then we'll come back to services, SMB SIFs, shares. We've got the public folder. Let's come down to users. We'll look at Billy, which is my only user. And Make sure everything looks good there. Take a look at groups. And I don't necessarily need a group. Um, services. Shares. Okay, so let's um, take a closer look at this. Public no, guests allowed. That should be fine. This is probably where I need to go. Privileges under shared folders. Billy. Read, write, save. Confirm the apply. And now when we connect, it's still throwing an error. Server may not exist or is unavailable at this time. Well, that's interesting. It is 139. Okay, well, let's do something else just for grins. Um, come back here and don't have any other Ubuntu or other Linux running at the moment. So let's boot up Rolling Rhino. just for the sake of argument. Okay, after a little bit more fiddling, here we are on our Rolling Rhino Ubuntu desktop. 
come to other locations down here to connect to server and we'll connect to our open media vault 6 we've got test as a folder unable to access location huh. okay interesting okay we're back on our Mac we're going to attempt to connect to our open media vault and it does in fact prompt us we'll say connect and we want to use the user Billy and our password so I previously been connected with the Ubuntu machine I added a docs folder and I'm just going to take documents from the desktop on my Mac and drop it into the folder and I'm also oops there we go I'm also going to add a new folder called Mac and we will leave it at that now as to why this is not wanting to connect I am not entirely sure uh, this is a little on the odd side uh, it could possibly be because I'm still running updates in the background and it might have some things disabled um, but uh, I have in fact been connected with the Ubuntu machine uh, and the Mac and I guess just for the sake of argument we can go ahead and connect to Windows we'll use our Windows 10 machine here on our Windows 10 machine we're going to come to network we should see OMV6 Billy is a user add the proper password go into the test folder docs does in fact show up and here's our document that was created on the Mac in LibreOffice and we are in fact able to open it up on Windows without any issue we have got some basic functionality going with open media vault and we can proceed further in future videos but for now I'm gonna wrap this up if you like the video and got something out of it please feel free to like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel, check out the description for a link to buy me a coffee. I'm always interested in hearing constructive criticism and suggestions in the comments. And on that note, thank you all for watching. Stay safe out there and have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.